I can't delete a file, even when using Unlocker. Okay, so when I try to delete this from my desktop, I get this error. When I click, see what's locking this, in Lock Hunter, I get this. Now, I have a drive, called G. I only have one physical drive, and it's D. Also, I have no virtual drive software installed, so I have no clue how it got there. Right clicking on G colon backslash and choosing eject doesn't do anything but change the logo, it still says the file size and whatnot. Here's the picture of the, what's locking this, of the contained file. But when I try to delete it, both of these files don't let me delete them. I had put win8 install.iso as a virtual drive a while back, but I uninstalled that software, but can reinstall it if needed. Starting this in safe mode doesn't work. Use Process Explorer to identify which process is keeping an open handle to the file. Click, find is greater than find handle or dll dot dot dot. Enter, win8image.iso. Click search. Then make the program close its handle. In your case the issue might be that the ISO image is still connected to a virtual machine or a virtual drive. Get a Linux Live CD, and get parted, system rescue, or parted magic, any release would work, but a small distro for something quick. Burn it to CD slash USB, and boot your computer to it. Mount the HD, and find the folder and delete it. You can use unit button to create the live CD or do it manually. Windows includes the ability to mark files for deletion upon reboot. This ensures the files are not in use at the time as they are deleted by the system before Windows starts completely. An application such as this one exposes this functionality to the end user. Edit, I would recommend move file as it is from a reputable source, thanks Ansker. Take ownership of the ISO file and then delete it. This happens sometimes on my Win 7 x 64 as well. You may also want to consider adding this option in the right-click menu so you can take ownership of any new file before you start working with it. On a side note, Unlocker now has a 64-bit version too. Smiley face.